Hello everybody, this is the Do Work LT. I want to chat a little bit today on a really important topic that pertains to your gear selection. We know that we spend a great deal of money, time, and effort selecting the appropriate firearm, placing it in the most appropriate holster that we can, and making it able to be carried on our person with the highest level of relative comfort, as we often say. Although many tell us in the world that the firearm on your person isn't meant to be comfortable, it's meant to be comforting. But going back to practicality, the more comfortable something is to carry on your person, the more likely you are to do so. So we put a lot into our firearms and hopefully we put a lot of uh, thought into the holster we carry them in. <laughs> but we shouldn't stop there. The attachment point of these firearm systems to your body are, the, uh, are easily one of the most important things to consider in the comfort, security, and practicality of concealed carry. And there are a lot of options out there for us when we're talking about carrying our firearms. But we sometimes stop short, and I often see people who stop short in thinking about after the gun, after the holster, what belt they should be wearing. And here you see your normal, um, you know, go to the department store and buy a leather belt kind of belt that I wear. Just plain brown, um, not a gun belt, not gun leather, not made for the demands of carry that these firearms, or especially a larger firearm with more capacity, will put on you. So this isn't really where it's at, although I still see a lot of people, know a lot of people who do carry with a belt like this, with obviously uh, varying degrees of success or, or practicality. You know, from that, we have another example of a belt when people start to think more about carrying gear on their person, and that's the BDU style belt. And this one is a, I believe, a, I believe this one's an actual two inch if I'm not mistaken maybe an inch and three quarter but may a debate simply be a friction device in the buckle and doesn't really offer that much more practicality of carry than the, the first leather one we showed you this one is a single layer of nylon and um, really good intention it will hold a great deal of weight but it's still loose, very flexible side to side, will have a great deal of deformation when you're wearing it with the firearm, magazines, knife, flashlight, or anything else you're really seeing to work with. So this one I don't really do anything with anymore. Uh, that one's you know, dress clothes time. I did step to a, this is a Galco belt, a little bit more robust. It's a double layered nylon with a Kydex strip sewn throughout and a similar friction device just a little bit more strong that velcros down and this has been a good solution it's been a very very comfortable belt in uh, shooting in class and carry and I've, I've really liked it um, a little bit big but still a very comfortable inch and, inch and a half reinforced belt that is consistent and comfortable with carry. Um, it, ha it has done pretty well. But today is a day that I know many people out there are waiting for. And that is the day I receive a special delivery from our friends at Aries Gear. Um, I gotta show you, I gotta show a lot of you out there who are waiting for your special deliveries from Aries Gear because this is what you're waiting for. The special delivery from Aries Gear with your Aries Ranger belt. And most of us have heard a lot about this system. We've seen a lot on them uh, at different shooting classes we've been to. And this is the next step. Many say the tip top of gear carry, of gun carry, 
that can be had. And this is the Ares Gear Ranger Belt. This is the, um, listen to this thing open up. This thing is stiff as can be. Um, we are talking about a very thick, very strong, handmade for every one of us on our order. And uh, it's just a great, great belt. I've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. Have our Cobra buckle system. And uh, this is a really neat system. This Ranger belt is something special. Let me get it set up here for you and show what it would look like when it's on your person. Key component of this is the Cobra buckle, the double layered inch and a half scuba grade webbing with an inch sheet of colored webbing on the outside. I, this is the coyote brown option. Uh, forgive me if the camera doesn't really show you very well how, how uh, nicely these colors are done. I'm telling you this is definitely a piece of craftsmanship. This is again by Aries Gear. It's their Ranger belt. This will run you about $79, but when you're talking about carrying guns, carrying knives, carrying gear, going to classes, and wearing your gear for an extended period of time, this is where it's at. And you can see how stiff this thing is. And they say all over their website and all over Facebook, stiffer is better. And when you put your hands on this, it is definitely solid. And I'm very excited. You have about an eight-week lag time on this because Aries Gear Products, their Ranger belt is getting very very popular but I'm telling you what it was I was told it would be eight weeks and this thing was in the mail eight weeks on the day and uh, and I really gotta give it to that company they're doing some good work they're getting absolutely bombarded with orders and they are producing great equipment I'm very very excited about this belt the Cobra buckle you'll see here is a very unique component of this. Under load, it cannot be released. You cannot release it if it's under a load. You, as soon as you take the pressure off it, excuse me, as soon as you take the pressure off it, like it's nothing, you load it, it, it no matter what you do, it's not coming out. You can see up close some inscription there. My camera quality probably won't let you see a lot of it. But what you'll see is the linear rating and uh, the loop rating of this measured in kilonewtons. Kilonewtons is, uh, to put it the most simply I can, is a measurement of force related to load. A kilonewton is relatively equivalent to 100 kilograms which one kilonewton would then be about 220 uh, pounds. So when you look at this, this buckle side to side, nine kilonewtons, we're talking a great deal of capacity. In a loop configuration, I don't know if they're illustrating a pulley configuration based on a rope system, um, but they're showing an 18 kilonewton rating. Um, so this thing, although you're not going to get into multiple kilonewtons on your belt, if you were to use, it's just a testimony to the strength of this in a, in a system. And that's really, really kind of a neat thing. So check out Aries Gear, and if you're willing to wait for a quality product to keep and protect your gear, um, I think that they are going to continue to produce really, really good equipment that we can all use for years to come. It is expensive on the front side, but I know guys who are using these for a long, long, long time.